What's up guys, Dr. Frontier back at it again with another video and in this video we're going to be talking about cards that either should be on the ban list or are they going to make it till next format. Now of course we did a prediction ban list video not too long ago on the channel, definitely go ahead and check it out. But for this video, some cards are from that video but also just cards we generally need to talk about. And before we start again remember these are all my opinion, if you guys agree let me know down below and if you don't it's okay also let me know down below. So let's go ahead and get started with the first card, and that's the Lacrima, Fiend Smith Lacrima. So the huge reason people do not like this card is the fact that if it hits Grave from the field and you're able to shuffle a Light Fiend either into your deck or extra deck, you can deal 1200 damage to your opponent. That is more than one eighth of their life points, which is kind of crazy. And in game three, it's so essential going into time that it's a huge factor, right? So, and the fact that if you're able to bring this back your next turn, you know, somehow it hits Grave again, you're able to shuffle back, do another 12. So, it's a crazy card, but I'm going to tell you right now, Konami is not hitting this for several reasons. A huge reason is the fact that this just came out in Fifth Forbidden, which wasn't too long ago. Uh, two, when Konami thinks about the ban list, it's not about, you know, the player base and how they feel, it's more about mon money right it's monetizing it's okay this card just came out so okay it's a common which they did it strategically um okay so reprint that uh super probably make it either a secret a prismatic secret rare you know maybe the new rarity collection maybe rarity collection like five at that point would be ulti um so that's kind of how they think and you have to kind of also remember like okay towards the end of it if it gets its like last like reprint then it's like, okay, it might get hit at some point. So think of it as like Nightmare Mermaid, and like I think it was the 2019 Megatons. The moment it got its Prismatic Secret Rare bump, it got banned <laughs> just because it was a problematic card. And you know, it, at the time it was just it, it was just crazy. So with this, it's not gonna hit a long time, so we're just have to deal and yeah, just be okay that it's not in the panelist at all. Because you guys do know, of course, that if it did get hit, it would have to be banned. It can't just go to one, you only play it on one. But anyway, going to Dimension Shifter, right? D Shifter. Um, so on my list, I put this as Untouched. Leave it at three. And the reason I feel like that is because it's somewhat balanced, somewhat. The fact that you can't have no cards in your graveyard when you activate this card. So drawing into this later on does nothing for you. There are some strategies where you can kind of like uh, reshuffle your your uh, your graveyard and kind of activate it again, but that's like way too much, you know, it's very specific. So I feel like though, a huge reason that this should stay off the ban list is because when you think about like really strong decks out right now, I can play this card, like Dish, uh, Dish, you can play this in, of course, uh, Ritual Beast. I feel like at some point, if Ritual Beast goes to that high ceiling level where they're above, um, of course, Snake Eyes, you know, like Bell, all of that, and they're like the tier zero deck, or you know, people feel like it needs to be hit. They're gonna actually just hit D Shifter, either ban it or put it at one. Now, I feel like that is because you know, again, when you have something like Snake Eye, and what a few lists ago, what they do, they ban Link Rebo, right? Because they didn't want to hit Snake Eye. That's also something Konami does. They try to save that like really popular deck so they can sell, you know later sets of course because people are like oh i have to play snake eye i have to get snake eye so it'll be the same thing with like ritual beast they'll probably do like a reprint set or in terms of just not wanting the deck to lose its core pieces so they'll do a soft hit and hit d shifter so that's how i feel about it so of course let me know how you guys um, feel about that but going on we do have super volley and this is more of a tough uh of course choice because if we compare this to d shifter at least D Shifter, you can play in certain decks. Super Poly, you can really play in any deck. It's really generic. And it has a very, very um, crazy effect of your opponent can't respond to this. And we do have a few effects like that in Yu Gi Oh! And are they healthy? I don't know, it's questionable. <laughs> Depends on the board, right? But uh, having a fusion uh, Super Poly target like Yu Bell, Loving Defender, is crazy because it just takes everything. Um, I think at the end of the day, it won't get hit now, but prepare in the future it will possibly get hit. Now there is that continuous spell card 
It's the one where you activate it, it turns everything on filter earth. That's a pretty good card to combine with Super Poly. Um, but again, I feel like with this list, they're more focused on like the bigger problems like Snake Eye. So they won't really touch this. You can either just be banned or at that point put to one. At two, at that point, you would just put it to one and just ban it. That's how I feel about it. But for this list, I think it's just gonna dodge it. But of course, let me know what you guys think. Moving on, we do have Cast to your Fenrir. And this is always a banless discussion because people do not like Fenrir. Um, it is the new Panker Tops, the better Panker Tops. And funny enough, I think Panker Tops came back to three. So, um, I don't know if maybe that's like a clue of like, uh, am I might get who, who, who knows? Who really knows? Right? But Panker Tops isn't really doing anything. Anyway, Fenrir for me, right? Um, it's a good way to slightly thin out your deck too because you're adding that second copy of Fenrir. You're only playing two in the deck. At most, uh, Konami could put this to one. I left it as unchanged on my list. But they could put it to one for sure. Uh, of course, now some people believe that a Rise Heart is coming back. And if it does come back, Fenrir has to go to one. Burp has to go to one. Like there have to be certain changes to the list, at least in my opinion. Um, because Castira is just really, really good, you know, if that comes back. So uh, that's how I feel about this. If not, just leave it unchanged, you know, unchanged, and just save it for another like list in the future. We have Hot Red Dragon, Archfiend, King Calamity. So with this, I believe around the time of like Duel's Nexus coming out, we had access to Crimson Dragon. Um, and that just kind of easily made this card. People, and of course, uh, mixed with like Valiant Smashers with Centurion, people really were like, all right, this card has to get banned, has to get banned. And I think you've slowly sort of forgotten about that, but they kept that this card on because of course with the Red Dragon Archfiend deck, uh, structure deck that came out. This card is a huge card that you can actually summon with the deck. Now, the real question is, are they gonna hit it because the player base really hates this card or save it because people use it in Red Dragon Archfiend? I might have to go with the latter, I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't think they're gonna ban this card. And I know you guys are probably like, what Like, what do you mean they're not, they're not gonna hit it? I'm sorry, I don't see them doing it. There's, again, and there's so many things that we need to address with this next ban list. It's very important, but I just don't think it's going to make the cut, but we'll see. We'll definitely see. Next up, we have Pot of Prosperity. On the list, I put this to two, but what you have to know is that there has to be a proper balance between, you know, okay, uh, the top decks that use it, if you ban this card, sure, they become a little less consistent, but it hurts the rogue decks that really need this card. So maybe a medium would be just putting it out one or leaving at two i think on my list actually i put it at two but you could put it at one because again it's such a powerful card that people will still actually use it at one um and it's somewhat i'm not gonna say it's balanced but it really does hurt your late game like mid game you're probably okay but late game it really does hurt because you're banishing so many of your you know cards your your extra deck resources so that's how I feel. I think you could either be at one. If not, I, my list, I put two. I'm just gonna leave it at two for now. Uh, next week, we have Appaloosa. I'm not gonna go too crazy with this one. As you guys know, you know, with the last list, Borlo Savage Dragon got hit. Borlo de Fleur got hit. So we're kind of following those end board pieces getting hit. And Apple just sort of has to fall on the sword, unfortunately. Um, I think we're trying to move back more, giving hand traps more like ease and really like banning Appaloosa really does help with that because then a lot of different strategies have to move a different type of way instead of just quickly go making Appaloosa do whatever they want. Um, it's gonna be a little harder but I think we'll be able to kind of get through that though. Moving on we do have IP Masquerina so I feel like if Apple gets hit Masquerina can stay where it is. Now yes I know Snake Eyes does use this card but hey we cannot sacrifice this card just for Snake Eyes, okay? We can make Snake Eyes hits for sure, but let's not sacrifice another Link monster to them. Please, let's not do that. I think 100% we can still keep this. Now I know people uh, still use this, go this going into Little Knight, but again, a lot of rogue strategies also do that too. So let's not hurt them as well. Um, but I th you know, end of the day, we'll see what happens. And speaking of uh, Snake Eyes, we have Snake Eye Ash. So this is not just Snake Eye Ash, but um, I feel like, so Ash can go to one, um, Flame Bird can go to one, 
Oak, Oak he would either get banned or won. Not all of them at the same time, but just to, you know, so you guys know, want to get to go to one, for sure. Uh, some combination of that, right? And um, I, on a last, like in one of my videos, I said that Bonfire can get hit, but think of how generic it is and it helps fire strategies in general, they won't get hit. They'll probably just hit the wanted. So at some point we do need to see a Snake Eyes hit for this balance for sure. If it's not Ash, it's one of the other ones, but we're gonna see something, okay? Believe me, we're gonna see something, right? Copium, we'll see. And then finally, we do have D Barrier, Dimensional Barrier. So this card's broken because again, um, it defies the laws of Yu-Gi-Oh, right? Like <laughs> the rules say, you know, you can fusion, do all this. This card just says no. And it's hard because I justified Super Folly. I don't think this card will get hit potentially this list. On my ban list prediction, I put that it would. It might just fall on the sword so something else doesn't have to get banned. Um, but at some point, this card will get hit. Now, players don't usually main deck this. They put this in their side deck. I did, you know, I was reading more of the comments for the last video, and a lot of people do like this card. Um, I personally do like it. I think you should abuse it until it does get banned. But just keep in mind, at some point, this card is getting hit, either to one or just getting banned completely. So just kind of keep that in mind as you continue to use it for probably the next format. But guys, that's all I have for you for today's video. If you guys liked the video, make sure to give it a huge like. Comment down below your thoughts on the list. If you miss any cards, of course, let me know down below. And if you guys are not subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, turn the notification bell on, so you're updated the moment I upload new videos. All right, guys, that's it for me. Hope you have a great rest of your day or night, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.